hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is palisa m and welcome to this wig tutorial today i'm going to be reviving this wig sent by a client and i'm going to be showing you how to do a wig detox using apple cider vinegar this wig feels dry to the touch and it feels matted it does have some tangles but we're going to fix all that I will be using the Woolworths brand apple cider vinegar with the mother, the organic shampoo, my favorite Tresemme smooth and silk conditioner, L'Oreal Lviv oil, and brushes. I will also be using a toothbrush to clean the closure. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brush out the tangles on the wig. It's not really that tangled, which is why I'm not wetting it. I'm just taking the brush to go through it and remove the little tangles that are there. I'm going to plug the basin and I have two kettles of boiled water in this bucket. I'm going to transfer them into the basin and then I'm going to add half a cup of apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to measure it out in this little plastic glass and then I'm going to add it to the water, shake the water around so I know the apple cider vinegar is nicely dissolved. I'm going to use my brush to mix in the apple cider vinegar because this is boiling hot water, you want to be careful. Then I'm going to place the wig in the water making sure all the hair is covered in the apple cider and water solution and I'm going to let it sit there for about 20 to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to remove the wig from the hot water and apple cider. Obviously the water has cooled. I'm then going to rinse this hair out thoroughly to make sure all the apple cider is out. I'm also going to brush through quite often because this hair did have tangles and knots. It is very important that you rinse out your wig thoroughly and this is what I am doing. Rinsing out all the apple cider vinegar, rubbing it out and then wringing the water out gently. I'm going to take the organic sleek and straight shampoo and I'm going to lather that all over the hair and I'm going to massage it into the hair running my fingers in a downward motion and washing the hair out. This hair was color treated. You will see that the water is now running a slight red or pink color. I'm not worried about that. I'm just removing the excess product. I think it wasn't treated well after the color was done, but you will see the final result is going to be amazing. I'm rinsing out the shampoo, making sure I rinse out thoroughly, and then I can repeat the shampoo process again. After rinsing the hair, I'm now going to apply conditioner to it. Um, this is the Tresemme Smooth and Silk Conditioner that I'm putting on. And I'm going to put an ample amount on it because this hair was dry. I want to soak it in the conditioner and give it enough slip so I can brush it through. And then I'm going to add the secret recipe, um, which I can't share with you guys. But I'm going to give it extra moisture through my secret treatment. We 
you will see that I am massaging this conditioner in thoroughly and I'm going in with the brush to make sure that there are no tangles but also that all the hair is covered and soaked in that conditioner. So this is what the hair looks like after all that rubbing and massaging in that conditioner. I did decide that I'm going to do a microwave treatment but I did it off camera. I do have a video on how to microwave deep condition. So this is me rinsing all that conditioner out of the hair. You want to rinse it out thoroughly and make sure that your hair is nice and clean i do use lukewarm water to rinse out the conditioner and not hot water i've put so much work into making sure the hair is moisturized i wouldn't want to strip it with using hot water After rinsing out, I'll take the L'Oreal El Vive oil and I'm going to apply three pumps of that in my palms, rub that together and then apply it to the hair. This helps the hair to dry nice and sleek with no frizz. And then I'm going to put this hair in the shower to air dry overnight. With all the brushing that I've done, this hair certainly no longer has any tangles. I'm bringing out the excess water just so it can dry it faster, but this is what the wig looks like. This is what the hair looks like after air drying. I am going to blow dry and straighten it off camera. I do have a video um, showing you how I blow dry and straighten wigs and what products I use. And this is the final product. The hair is so good looking and shiny and sleek. I am so happy with the results. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.